girl wanna get freaky I said cool, that's fine She wanna get way too comfortable There's no way you can come round mine Plus, she wanna link so early I'm only beating things after nine But if she does that thing with finesse Calm, boo, you can be my wife Day 751 I'm only joking, it's only been like three weeks Oh my god, I am so bored of this lockdown it's so nice outside i can't do anything i know it's for like for the greater good and I'm, we're all kind of just plowing through it at this point but christ got a call this morning from work just to say um <laughs> they might not even be opening the store until june great brilliant when at the start of april i just genuinely feel like crying but we never know it might end up being longer because some of you just don't know how to act and not stay in fucking doors i'm seeing people that um are getting like basic letters from the government just to say stay the fuck in and to go out for like once a day i think it was yeah it's just for once a day but some people or by the thousands are just chilling in parks like what happened to the listening to this whole social distancing like how bad does it really need to get like if you're that worried about not going outside just long out the one exercise a day for example me and my mum go for walks for like an hour at least at least that gets us out for the once and by the time we get home we're fucking knackered and the thing is the more people that decide to not listen to what the government is saying the longer we're gonna have to do this and I'm not, I don't know about everybody else, but my nails need doing, my eyebrows are starting to grow out. I'm going to come out of this fucking lockdown looking like fucking Chewbacca. And this is because of everybody else, okay? And I, 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 I can't, just the thought in my mind, I just can't. Some people need to go outside because like mentally like it, it helps them for example my anxiety i know would end up being like really really bad if i don't end up like going outside at least once even if it's just in the garden for like a couple of minutes so if the government ends up being more strict on it there's no way that i'm gonna be able to cope let alone other people that have other mental health issues that their routines to go outside like my routines to get up go to work come home go to bed and repeat that's now kind of been taken from me so i'm now kind of in limbo that's just gonna end up getting worse there's people that are dying kim just stay the fuck inside okay so we're out over so i'm back to doing the fun shit hey guys it's kella and welcome back to under the covers with kella on bd tv as we're all kind of in lockdown i've been doing nothing but paint my toenails like completely different colors like every day for like the past three weeks obviously they're like a really cute color so obviously you've got to try and get them into the, like your cheeky snaps. For whatever reason, recently I've been having quite a few people comment on my toes. And I don't think I've got the nicest feet in the world. I mean, they're not ugly. Like, they're not like, like my toes aren't like this long or whatever. But I don't know. Like, I wouldn't see them as like something to aspire towards. I mean, there's no bunions or anything. I've got quite white. I've got quite chunky feet like they're not like the long slim pretty ones like the most aspired to be toes say so, i don't know but i'm starting to notice that feet seems to be more and more of like an attractive trait for some people so so far i've had like a total of like three guys recently be interested in my feet the first one where i was when i was at uni and it was kind of just like a one night thing if you will and he stuck a toe in his mouth and i was like what the fuck and at the time i kind of was like mm, no mm, 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 really know how to feel about it but i won't say no to it and then the second time it happened like the second time he came over i was just like oh no this shit tickled man i can't I Oh, I could feel myself pulling my foot out. I was like, I can't do it anymore. I was like, that's stop. The second guy actually wanted to pay me to do shit to my feet at your big age. Like, if you were to look at this person, you really would not think that this is, like, the type of thing that he would come out with. Obviously, I was like, what the fuck? No. Now that we're kind of in furlough, well, he should have just said yes and the most recent one is this guy that keeps popping up to my snap and saying that he wants to massage my pretty feet and there's nothing pretty about my feet like 
the only thing that's pretty about my feet is the fucking toe colour that I put on it. But then again, my feet aren't exactly going to massage themselves, so I might just have to take them up on the offer. So initially I started thinking about foot fetishes and then what attracts people to feet. So I just took to my good old friend Reddit to see what I could find. So the first question that I found was, people who have foot fetish, what is it about the foot that intrigues you so much? The person was like, well, first off, I don't speak for everyone with foot fetishes. They come in all kinds of flavours. Some people dig shoes or stockings, or some folk were all about getting stepped on. This is true. Um, I can vouch for this. I remember on Twitter, um, I had these things called pay pigs where they were kind of like men but they were more into like the submissive type of shit but they wanted to see the soles of your feet and how many pairs of shoes have you got and can you put them like here and there and all up above your head and shit like that it was kind of interesting actually how many angles you can actually get your foot the thing is with the pay pigs obviously you have to give them the pictures and then you get the money and they start asking for like 101 bits of shit and that's when it just starts getting really boring i also kind of compared it to like other sexually attractive body parts like bums boobs it's kind of like the same aspect if you will the else just said i like the way it squirms i'm assuming that's when you tickle feet i can't stand the idea of my feet getting tickled i could not think of anything anything worse to be perfectly honest with you someone else just said i don't have a foot fetish myself but i can't exactly explain why i'm such a fan of breasts or asses so it's probably similar um i have a foot fetish now and i feel weird and embarrassed about it i won't go into too many details but basically i had a mind altering substance a few months ago gave the girl a foot massage for the first time and realized i love women's feet a lot and I feel really weird about it. It doesn't go to Tarantino levels, but at the same time, it's pretty strong. I've always been very appreciative of the women form, legs especially, but it never hit me how much um, how much the right girl's feet could affect me. And so here I am, just another weird guy on the internet with a thing for women's feet. And I have no idea how to go about this or what to do about it or anything. I don't, I don't particularly think it's a weird thing to be into i think it's kind of just something that i hadn't really thought about like how the other people kind of said earlier they're more into bums and boobs that's kind of like the only thing that you kind of really think of i love a nice bum a little bum that you can just ah, just love it so then i guess it's kind of just like the same thing for guys and feet you know i mean i don't think i'd want to be with somebody who has ugly feet so i don't know i replied that super comments don't put yourself down as a female although it isn't anything to me i wouldn't find it off-putting if a guy was into my feet if anything it's nice to have someone appreciate a part of you that you wouldn't necessarily appreciate otherwise which is true i think if somebody was like you know what my killer your feet are really nice i'd be like oh Thank you. I didn't really think they were that much to look at. An old boyfriend of mine loved my calves. <laughs> like, and I never really done anything with them. Even when I go to the gym or anything, I don't particularly work that part of me out. I've just always had like a toned calf. But he's already always appreciated that. So maybe it's kind of just like the same thing. I don't know. I said my ex had a foot fetish and I didn't mind at all. The foot massages were awesome. It's nothing to be ashamed of. And if a girl makes you feel embarrassed about it, then that's on her. There are lots of women out there who will, who will happily accept you as you are. Somebody else said it. To be honest, it depends. If I found, I found if it's just a foot fetish or clothing thing, then yeah, it's easy to accept. But if there's submissive, if there is a submissive element there, I found it a lot harder to find acceptance. Which is true. I think it's because I'm such a dominant personality anyway. I think if I was to have a boyfriend, I think I'd want him a little bit more dominant than me. So if he was to have like a fetish and then be like, oh, I need to be the submissive, I'd just be like, I, I can't do it. Can't do it. So I kind of get that. Like, I mean, each to their own. I just, there's just no way. There's no way. I went on to another forum called Female First to see if there was anything else about foot fetishes. 
Um, someone else asked foot fetish. Do you guys enjoy this? Um, someone else said I'm not so much into it, but I don't mind. My first boyfriend was a crazy fetish with feet. We couldn't ever do anything which did not involve my feet. I kind of felt left out as he would prefer to have my feet and get rid of the rest of me. But if you don't go overboard, I think feet can be, be pleasurable. I'd never say no to a sensual foot massage, which might include sucking toes as well. No. No. I just don't think the toe sucking is for me. Like, you don't know where my feet have been. I mean, I always shower before anything anyway. And my feet are always clean. But it's just it's not something. No. I sometimes kiss my husband's feet and toes and he was surprised when I first did, but he loves it now. Ooh. No. I cringe when a guy's foot touches my leg and that's with socks on. Like, let alone a whole bare foot. I can't. No. No. I kind of got bored with the whole foot fetish thing and started to start googling fetishes in general. So went back to my good old friend Reddit and weird sexual fetishes, I know you have them, I do. I said, so I keep a few pairs of freshly bought Ugg in my closet when I have a girl over and usually make them put them on. I get turned on from them when I see girls wearing them. I don't know when this started, but it's been fun. Um, I Uggs only just remind me of that time when I was in year seven and all the girls wore them. Like I just, and you could see them all slant to the side and it was particularly in winter and they never really kept your feet warm, but girls would still wear them anyway. But, and they weren't waterproof and then they would complain that their socks were wet and then their shoes just went to shit. It just reminded me of the, the time, it's just a bad time. So I don't ever understand how they're like, a sexy thing. Some people are like fulfilling other people's fetishes. Yeah, that's a fetish. I have a couple of things on my list I will never do, but past that I'm willing to try usually. Nothing turns me more than having my partner's eyes widen in near shock. I spontaneously do something he's often thought of but never done. Someone said half I'm dressed, it's always a shame in porn when they wear a sexy outfit and then just take it off. This one again I can vouch for. <laughs> yeah, I can vouch for that. So after going through reddit i started getting really bored so then i went to my friend i don't know what to do i am running out of ideas to do this video on like i'm running out of fetishes to talk about and then she just randomly turned around and was like okay well what about the guys that put poles through their dicks and i was like okay wait what <laughs> so i got kind of had to like google if this was actually a thing and she just wasn't like joking around with me and it's actually called urethral sounding where this uh, where there's like loads of different sets of poles where a guy actually shoves it like through his dick and there's like a whole how to on doing it make sure you use lots of lube start off small so it, there's less discomfort and i don't think i've ever been more horrified in my life but yeah that's the thing and then i tried to go through some forums to see okay is there any like fuck ups or anything and then it just brought me up to a page with like loads of dicks and I was just like, okay, this is just not, it's not, it's not for me. But one thing that I have learned today is that there's multiple fetishes that I never even knew they existed. There's being into Uggs, shoving poles through your dicks. But there's nothing of it to be ashamed of. Like, you're into what you're into, as long as it's just like, not like, like fucking dead people or shit like that that's all i have time for today ladies and gents make sure you hit like click subscribe leave a comment in the section below and i hope to see you soon